our consideration is on the cross and i've themed it the the bloody cross um, because i don't know when you look at the cross i don't know what you see when you behold the cross i don't know what you see but one of the things you know that i see when i look upon the cross one of the things i see is blood one of the things i see is pain i see sacrifice and i see love at the center of it all so one of the things that you know um the cross presents to us is pain blood sacrifice and at the center of all this love i'm going to read some scriptures so that we understand when i say the bloody cross you understand that the cross you know, upon which jesus was crucified was a cross that was full of blood full of blood and that of the blood of jesus the son of god so um we know the story of jesus we know how he was betrayed we know we've read how he was betrayed with you know we know how he was you know condemned by the jews that he came to die for we know how he was rejected how you know they cried out um that they should crucify jesus and all of that so i'm just going to take you through you know the series of things you know that happened that now ended in his crucifixion and the first place i'll be reading is matthew chapter 27 and verse 26 the scripture says then he talking about jesus he then sorry then he released barabbas to them not jesus now then he released barabbas to them and when he had scourged jesus he delivered him to be crucified so we see pilots releasing barabbas and you know when you read this scripture one of the things that you know it represents to us is that jesus came as an exchange so instead of this was the first this was a shadow of what he came to do so instead of barabbas being crucified barabbas was the criminal barabbas was the bad one barabbas was the evil one barabbas was the one that was meant to die but in the place of barabbas jesus went in so he released the judge released barabbas the evil one the sinful one and crucified jesus the righteous one so this was the shadow of what jesus came to do but that's not what we are heading to the, um today he said that he released him when he had scourged jesus you know when we read this when he has scourged, scourged jesus it's easy to just pass it by and say okay jesus was beaten no scourging is not the same as beating <laughs> when you say beating beating can be with cane it can be with stick it can be with anything but when you say scourging when the romans scourge a man is a it's 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 a it's a very bloody experience because the scourging is with a whip and you know the whip would have um sharp objects at the edges so that when they when they wipe the first one it will go around the man and then the sharp object will have to dig into the flesh and then they will pull so with each scourging will come this the, the flesh of the man will come the skin of the man so his scourging brought off a, a flesh of the body of jesus and they did that for 39 times that was the roman is it 39 times now or is it 40 that that was the 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 the, the roman scourging so jesus went through that so that when they finished scorching him the wounds had joined together into one piece <laughs> he, he was he was mad his body was bloody he was mad beyond recognition so when we read the the scripture that there was no beauty in him to be desired this is, this is what he's talking about there was no beauty in jesus any longer there was no beauty because his body has been messed up his body had been messed up imagine normal normal beating with cane normal cane imagine how the body of a person would be after 39 strokes imagine how red how this figure now think about scourging with sharp objects that would pull off the, 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 the skin with every scourge with every scourge pull it off pull it off imagine imagine the mess imagine the bloody experience imagine how blood will fill the whole place and that was the first thing then they took him the soldiers took him off and they began to mock him and the scripture says in verse 29 of matthew 27 is that when they had twisted a, a crown of thorns so we see this is a crown a mock crown so they made the crown with thorns that is um sharp objects thorns from trees and all of that just things that had spines so they twisted that crown from thorns and then they put it on his head the scripture says 
and they gave, gave him a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying hail king of the jews he was mock worship the state then they spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head i remember that the head had the crown the the, the crown of thorns so when they struck jesus on the head they were driving the thorns into his skull so with every striking of the reed the the, the spikes the thorns would enter the skull it would it would it would break open the skull and then blood too would come out so remember his body is bloody now now his his head has become bloody so from head to toe filled with blood filled with blood blood dripping blood dripping and then he took his cross and began to go and then on the road they found someone that helped him carry the cross and then they went to to Golgotha and in verse 30 the scripture says then the verse 35 now so then they crucified him then they crucified him crucifixion is also another painful experience because they would stretch you out on the cross and then they would begin to nail you so with the maybe something like a mallet they will begin to drive the, the the nails down through your skin through your ligaments through your bones through your blood vessels through nerves they would they would drive it and nail, nail you left hand right hand they fit together they will nail to the cross so as they nailed that was another episode of blood the blood vessels were ruptured the blood would begin to gush out and they would nail they would nail they would nail by this time jesus had been weakened through and through weakened nobody that has lost and that was that is one of the um, primary um one of the major aims of the scourging of everything they did because when they criminalized to be crucified he would have to be weakened first of all so they would scourge him so that he would lose a lot of blood to weaken the person and here was jesus the holy son of god the most righteous the one without the sin the scripture says tempted in every way as we are yet without sin here was he being treated like a criminal his whole body full of blood his head his face full of blood and they raised the cross up and gravity set in there was a pool of gravity for he was held by love he was not held by the nails he was held by love he was held by love why because he had the power to come down he had the power to scatter everybody there he had the power to not be crucified he could call down legions of angels and save himself but no love kept him so we see that the cross the cross when you look at the cross it's a bloody place and one of the things that it should do to our hearts when we look at the cross is to bring us to the place of consecration you know that was the reason that apostle paul was writing and he said first of all in second corinthians chapter 5 verse 14 he said for the love of christ compels us what what what, what was apostle paul talking about he said the love of christ is, is what controls us now for we know that one died so he was looking at the cross and he began to compel him that love that jesus had that made him go to the cross he began to compel he began to control him so that he no longer lived for himself he now lived for the one that died for all that was what he was talking about oh shana kaparada shatai he said and he died for all second corinthians 5 verse 15. he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves but for him who died for them and rose again so that's the first point of our call as we begin to pray this day can we begin to lift up our voice and look at the cross lift up our eyes behold the cross and then lift up your voice and consecrate yourself to the master say for the love of christ controls us we are no longer controlled by the lust of the flesh we are controlled by the love of christ we look at the cross and we present ourselves as a living sacrifice we look at the cross and we consecrate ourselves unto god we look at the cross and we say no to ungodliness we look at the cross and we look at the the blood of jesus being poured pouring down from the cross and we say lord take all of me all of me i yield my everything take all of me all of me 
I yield my everything. Shada barakali heaven of seven kabanadash. Can you find your way to the cross? Can you find your way to the cross and begin to drop everything? And begin to drop everything at the foot of the cross as you look at the face of Jesus, as you look at the blood upon the cross of Calvary, you begin to cast away everything. You begin to you cast yourself down. And a man de suze vene kabaravile toza vinanash zene kande baravile kwada baravineta. And you are able to say, Lord, take all of me. You are able to say, Lord, I consecrate myself. I give myself to you. I give myself away unto you that you may use me. I, I render my body to you the same way that Jesus rendered his body for me. I render my body to you, oh God, to serve your purpose on earth, to serve your will upon the surface of the earth, to do that for which you would have me do. Resum de Kada para Villetoa, and Shana Kadia Susa Kada Barata, Resus on the Kopara Villetoa, and Shana Nasuseneva, Retonga Pella Barata Sieta, Leno Shana Kabarapa, Resus de Venequa Papembeha, Leno Sonia Kaparapa, I yield myself to you, Resola Iloba. At the foot of the cross, I drop it all. I drop it all. I drop it all. I drop it all. Resuna kababa me. Eshana kali breast of rahania. Zeneke telambre di shada rahania. To the one that gave it all for me. To the one that yielded it all for me. To the one that yielded it all for me. Lambonzi kabarabi don sadi anakwali ya rande shondo kompre tosa vendo kabarabi ya resoli ani na moto bela kara di asham ya rande ya ta. To the one that 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 gave it all for me. The scripture will say in Philippians that he, he he was equal, but he did not claim equality with God. He left his place in heaven and he stepped down into earth and took on the form of a servant took on the form of man and he 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 went all the way and died even the death on the cross which was the worst kind of death the death was the worst kind of criminals he died on the cross just because of this love for us so he gave all he stripped himself of all the benefits of deity and he came in the form of man and he went all the way to the cross therefore lord we strip ourselves off of everything and we yield all to you we yield all to you ourselves our lives our everything we yield to you take all take all take all of us every part of me every aspect of my being take my love life take my music life take my my aspirations take my uh uh, uh. The, 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 the desires of my heart lord i yield them all let it be your desires let it be your purpose let it be your will let it be your counsel let me live according to your purpose let me live according to your will oh god i say no to the lust of the flesh i say no to the lust of the eyes i say no to the pride of life in the name of jesus these three things these three elements these three systems will not control me for i look upon the cross and I see the sacrifice of Jesus and it is the law that begins to compel me I am controlled by the law of Jesus I am controlled say now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the law of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with you in the name of Jesus the grace of Jesus is with me the law of the Father is with me the fellowship of the Spirit is with me in the name of Jesus I am not controlled by the elements of this world I am not controlled by the deceptions of darkness I am not controlled by the deceitfulness of sin I am not controlled in the name of Jesus, I am only controlled by the love of the Father. I am controlled by the love of the Son. I am controlled by the virtue of the Holy Ghost. I live for the Son. I live the life I live now. It is no longer mine. The life I live now is no longer mine. I live for the one that I be. Russell or the Abba. I will live to serve his will. I live to serve his will. I live to walk according to his word. I am strengthened by the Holy Ghost to do what I am if only we can have the cross as our gaze if only we can have the cross as our gaze all times it will save us from a lot of mess 
that we we usually get ourselves into if only we can have the cross as our gaze is there for the cross i know the cross is the power of god unto salvation when we behold the cross the cross has the power to save us has the power to deliver oh zina kapara the ashanda rande kala zene no salve no baba vena shanda rande kete reso zogo kombre sobra na ladapa rade ashanda rende le no salve mene no saza ido para the ashanda rande kata rende nene no saza yato do maram de shanda rande liado reso so vene kambe veno saya da bombre do shanda rande ha reze liato sazi e que tengo para na shanda rande ha ah jesus jesus take all of us take all of us I'm at all village, cada vez no si village. I'm about to take all of our dias and our rambles to village. Our lives be consecrated unto you. Our lives are in your hands. Be consecrated unto you. Our lives are in your hands. Be consecrated unto you. Our lives be consecrated unto you. Our lives be consecrated unto you. Our lives be consecrated unto you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. For as long as we live with the consciousness of the cross, the power of sin is broken. Because on that cross, we see the love, and there is nothing as powerful as love. Love will lead you. Love will control you. But when we lose sight of the cross, that's when we begin to get into diverse kinds of mercy. And I declare over our, our lives this day in the name of Jesus. That the love of the Father will be with us. The grace of our Lord Jesus will be with us. The fellowship of the Holy Ghost will be with us. We will live lives by these three elements, by these three systems that God has put in place. We will live lives that are consecrated to God in the name of Jesus. No more shall we be victims of sin. No more shall we be victims of the wiles of the enemy we rise and we live above the tricks of the realm of darkness we live above the fiery darts of the enemy because we know that the love of christ is our gaze we behold that love and we follow like fools we follow we follow no matter what the world may say no matter how the world may mock Jesus was mocked. <laughs> Therefore, we take on the mockings of the world for our master. We receive the strength of the Holy Ghost. We receive the strength of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. And amen.